Page of error, challenging information delays or changes to plans just delivered without tact. Okay. So two of pentacles is trying to balance out your family life, home life, work life, and finances. That you are very well going to be known in the public eye. Your achievements will be recognized would be six of wands and then ten of pentacles so pretty much you feel satisfaction of feeling settled so it's about your home, sales, finances, business, home. So I guess you're doing very well in that category. Looks like you're doing very well. You make sure you're up to date on things. You could be a landlord or your work or it could be a home life. You're trying to make sure you're updated on everything and that's what you're going to be recognized about. Let's see. Then let's go to Six of Cups. Let's see. Six of Cups is about something or someone from the past coming back. This can be an old friend making an entrance or the travel of an old love relationship. What I feel like, you're juggling everything, you're being recognized for good work, you're keeping up to date, and a blast from the past will make an entrance now, and it could bring you happiness, satisfaction. So I said, Six of Cups could be an old friend or an old lover coming back. There's a volcano that's going to erupt, too. The world having learned lessons presented by all the previous cards in the major arcana we finally arrive at the world so since you've done successfully without this person they've learned all their lessons and they think they can just come right back so, I don't know who this is for, but somebody rewards delight with your achievements. There's somebody's ex that's wanting to come back into your life maybe they see how well you've succeeded or maybe how well you have done and you're very well known to the world you are very well known possibly respectable and You've learned your lessons, or maybe they've learned lessons, but 
There's something here with delays, changes to plans. There's purity, beauty, beginnings, gratitude, the unexpected. So, yeah, that's double clarification that it could be somebody coming back. And then the world. No, the unexpected and six of cups is double clarification. Somebody's coming back. That has gratitude, learned lessons, and maybe this ex thinks that you guys can have a new beginning, or maybe your ex is figuring out that you're very beautiful, of being well known, you know how to do things, you're on time, you don't mess around. You know how to balance out everything. There's purity. So it could be that maybe your purity. That you know how to tell the truth. You know how to speak clear communication. I get the feeling that maybe the person has not really really done anything. I feel like they're coming back to set you back. I get the feeling of that. And if they're coming back to try to set you back, you are divinely protected from that. And the sun, one of the most positive cards in the tarot for it being happiness, success, and triumphs. Excellent relationships, happy marriages, contentment, prosperity, and good health. But you're spiritually protected that maybe the old friend or old lover or an old friend could be coming into your life just to be nosy to cause delays or changes to your relationship or marriage or trying to do something that they think when they come back in they think they're gonna mess up in engagement relationships or contentment you are spiritually protected from that from not happening that's the unexpected the world that you're doing good you've got new beginnings with someone and then all of a sudden now your ex wants to pop up out of nowhere. You have the world. You are way different. You're protected from this past person that they cannot mess up your relationship or marriage or they're going to try to try to juggle something of not being clear communication there's delays or changes truth delivered without tax something's going to erupt if this person comes back which I think it's kind of weird they can't really throw you off of anything because you can smell it. You'll know what they're doing. They could even try to juggle you to see if you want to be with them or the person that you're with. And that's not okay. I feel like there's some sneakiness here. That a blast from the past is being sneaky. Wanting to be in the presence on purpose. Whatever it whatever excuse it is and it's gonna make somebody wanna fight their ground there's a woman here with the sword ready to go to war so I feel like your blast from the past is gonna make it to where your beginnings are gonna be very difficult where you're gonna have to juggle 
pretty much try to confuse you on what you really want. You already got new beginnings without them. They're going to come back and try to confuse you. Kind of weird how that's coming out. But that's the trick delivered without tact. Or maybe somebody needed to know that. Maybe somebody coming in that does not give a damn, but that's not okay to be doing that. Or they could be saying, oh, I've learned all my lessons, I look up to you, but they could be lying to you as well. Let me see. The Empress, time to act up, yeah, time to act upon your plan. Creativity is rewarded luxurious and abundance resources. So I believe they're just coming back for abundance reinsurance. It's weird. Let me see. You are very well known and they see you beauty because you know how to balance out a lot of things. The lovers make choices from your heart, deeply emotion communi commitments, the power of love. I believe you know this person has not changed, and they see you being successful about your mind and your heart and what you want mm. what is beginnings five of afriel everything happens for a reason release regret embrace the opportunities for happiness so, like I said, they have regrets. They cannot release that you're in a better position. They're going to have regrets of why they want to come back. Like I said, there's something sneaky behind it. That you are protected from. You are. Strength. And grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. So, I don't know. There's something that the blast from the past is trying to be sneaky about. Maybe they regret of juggling you. They could maybe regret that maybe they may have said something slick to you saying that you'll be nothing. And you are known. <coughs> To the world that you are something it doesn't matter what you do you're very well known very well respected and you know how to speak clear communication you're doing really good and they can't believe they underestimated you thinking you were weak but you're really strong Or maybe this person's coming back as a lesson to see if you're going to fall through it again. I don't know. Let me see. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. Okay. So, like I said, the unexpected is somebody coming back. The Six of Cups is somebody wanting to come back. And they're going to take action of going after who they want. And I said, that's, like I said, there's some sneakiness there. That they're not just coming back just to see how you're doing. No, they're going to pursue you. They want to go after you. Because they want you back. There's going to be some little manipulation. There's going to be some really weird shit they're trying to 
trying to juggle. It could be who you're with right now, and they're going to try to get you away. And thinking that you're going to leave your significant other for someone else. And that's the truth delivered without tact. That's going to bring attention. That's going to bring nothing but people want to fight. Go to war pretty much. And it's better to let somebody know a heads up. That the world is going pretty much going in your favor and not in your blast from the past's favor it's not because once once your wheel turns it goes in your favor not so much of theirs and that's pretty fucked up that the blast from the past is having other people to help to try to be sneaky to come back or trying to do something that will throw throw you off or make you feel like in the mind that you have to juggle between lovers. That's not okay. That just really, really makes me feel weird. Solution. Success that come from objective promise, self-control, and patience, forgiving, and healing energy so they think that if they have self-control and patience which is the sneaky part is that you will forgive them and they think that that's when they will pursue you when your guard is down to where you treat somebody else like shit so they can have you and that's going to be delays or changes to plans that that's what the person's up to who whoever whoever this is for somebody's trying to come in to delay a relationship or changes to where it goes back to the back back blast from the past whatever the fuck that is and uh, release the past there is a more enriching future coming let go let God so God is seeing this for whatever is going on behind the scene. And there was a little sneakiness going on. And God is saying that you were free from a situation. You ended a situation where it brought you a new beginning. It brought you better. And your ex didn't give you that. And the really messed up part is that time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. So, your ex thinks, and they, they know your weakness, they think by time to take action, to try to come towards you, they know exactly what to do. And they're having people help others in the process. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. So, this person thinks that it's safe to accomplish many things at once. So, pretty much what their plan is to try to come in somehow. Get all the emotions riled up. Possibly do something to make them want to juggle. And these people have zero fucks given of how you feel your ex is gonna want you back they're gonna do dirty shit to want you back they will try to contact you as well I don't know how they're gonna do it time to make a decision be clear on what you want and take action and need for de detoxification so, somebody needs to make a decision of what they want to do. And that's where the juggle comes in because it's already caused a stagnation of energies. It's fucked up with people's emotions a lot. And pretty much God is saying that don't be playing games right now. 
Don't be playing ignorance right now. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. Pretty much, they're probably going to transfer to where you work. That could also be another thing, too. Um, needs to learn how to balance work and love life out, pretty much. Two hearts detected to create... Creating something wonderful. Kindred spirit. Don't give up on those you love. So, your ex doesn't want to give up on you. They will do anything dirty. They will do anything just to get you back. And that's what the secretive part is. Is that they think that it's safe to do anything that they want. And somebody is moving away from it. There's two horses going away from the blast from the past. But your blast from the past is trying to come towards you and you're trying to get the fuck away from it. Determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. And, uh, to a Michael, it will be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem. Find a compromise. So, your ex only knows how to cause trouble, havoc, wants shit to get out of hand, wants people to fight. And does not see a problem with what they're doing. Their decisions over analyzing a problem. So pretty much the only problem they got is whoever they're with. They got a problem with it. And God gave you the opportunity to get away from your ex for a reason. But this ex don't like you getting away from them. And they did a lot of things they regret in the relationship. Your ex is trying to do everything and anything to not let you go. And that's going to cause issues with people's energies. That's going to cause stagnation. That's going to cause fucking issues and problems. That I believe somebody is protected and somebody's not protected in this situation. And pretty much, be careful who, if your blast from the past is trying to get people to help, being helpful to try to get their ex back by using other people, that's the unexpected as well. And that's what's going to cause... Truth delivered without tact. It's going to cause issues. going to cause problems. People are going to be wanting to fight. Fuck up each other. And possibly say fuck it. That's what this person's trying to do. That's where the secretive sneakiness was coming in. Because I kind of felt something here. They exes just don't come back. Just see how you're doing. Most of them got something up their sleeve, which is not going in their favor. They're trying to make it go in their favor, and that's not okay. Because when, when you know there's an ex trying to come back to somebody, you're not going to act right. You're going to act weird. You just know. But, like I said, the sun here, there's happiness, but you are protected. Like I said, someone is, somebody's not. And somebody's not seeing an issue with what they're doing. That can cause a spiritual warfare. And somebody's wanting to cause unnecessary drama of being 
fake love, pretty much. Somebody just trying to cause shit just because they think they can because they're bored. Or they think that they're going to treat the other individual like shit just for them. Not realizing that's why God gave you a new beginning without the person because they treated you exactly the same way. And why would you want to treat somebody else the way your ex treated you? To somebody else who's really good to you. A lot of people don't get forgiven for that. And that's when a lot of people get in regret mode. You're free from that situation. If you decide to go back into it, you're going to have to start all over again. Rehealing, knowing yourself, and learning. And what I think is that if this ex from the if the ex comes back blast from the past you may not have a new beginning it's just gonna start all over shitty crappy arguments of saying ha ha I fucked you over that's where I get the feeling that that's what exes loves to do and I've known people to do that where they go kinda that cocky shit ha ha I got you to leave him or her. Ha ha, fuck you, I manipulated you. There's that energy right there. They're juggling on what they can do to trick a person into giving in so they can be treated like shit. But, like I said, just watch yourself. Be cautious. And you are divinely protected somebody is somebody's not and it's going to turn in somebody's favor and it's going to turn the opposite for someone else that's trying to be sneaky there's a woman here ready to fight and that could be the ex too the ex is probably ready to fuck someone up just get somebody else back to prove a point or this ex thinks that they could just beat your ass and thinking oh he'll take me because i beat her ass that's not always the case. It matters with how you feel inside your heart and mind. It's not always about wanting to beat the fuck out of people. Just, just to say you win. It, ta it takes a lot more than your looks and your body. It takes your heart and mind and soul for a person to fully understand you. That's not what you're fully about. But like I said, somebody wants to be stupid and fuck up a relationship, that's up to them. But like I said, it's your it's your choice whether you want to screw it up, fuck it up, that's on you. I wouldn't recommend it because there's the world here that it you're you've done so much achievements without this ex that if you if they do try to get back in your energy, the world may not turn in your favor. That's what I get the feeling of too. You've done so much better. The wheel is turning in your favor, and if you make one wrong move, it may not turn. But, like I said, this is all I have, and have a good night.